Hello everyone, it's your boy Frank Javsi, and today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Dance Dance Revolution, all, all of them. But first, I'm gonna eat this habanero pepper that has between 100,000 and 300,000 uh, Scoville units. It's not that bad. So anyways, DDR, also known as Dance Dance Revolution from um, Konami. Konami is a company famous for making Frogger and uh, Metal Gear Solid and uh, Castlevania and um, other games. But anyways, they made this game where they're like, hey, let's, let's make a game where instead of playing with your hands, you play with your feet. And it was pretty revolutionary at the time, pun intended. They they made these like huge arcade machines that were like seven feet tall and weighed 900 pounds, and you you would just jump on it, and they would have flashing lights and sounds, and it, it was crazy cool in Japanese. <clears throat> in fact, uh, I think it's GameSpot. They released a thing that were like. This is a little bit too Japanese. I don't think the American audiences are going to like this very much. But American audiences loved it. And it actually boosted Konami's uh, annual revenue 250% in 1999. So then Konami was like, dude, we have a hit. So what we're going to do is we're going to port this to every system that we could. And they released the first one on PlayStation. And it was like this D-pad. Uh, no, you can play with with the PlayStation D-pad, and then they were like, "Hey, let, let's make a let's make a thing where you could just use your feet like like the arcade games." And they released all these pads, and it was revolutionary, pun intended, because you could dance in the privacy of your own own home instead of going to the arcades where people would look at you and stuff. But it also created like a social phenomenon. Like when you went to the arcades, people weren't like, "I want to look at this guy shooting guns." Are playing a, a car racing game. I want to see him dance. So that changed the arcade. Ugh. And then um, they released uh, their first licensed uh, port with uh, this Disney mix, where you could just dance to like European Disney uh, Euro dance songs on DDR for the PlayStation. And then in 2005, they did one with like Mario, where you could like dance to Mario songs. And then also DDR is considered a physical education in um, West Virginia. So instead of taking PE, you could just take Dance Dance Revolution. And uh, yeah, it influenced a lot of games like Set Mania, Guitar Hero, uh, all of those fun rhythm-based games that, 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 that we like. I give uh, DDR, Dance Dance Revolution, three peppers out of five peppers, because there's room for improvement. Um, I give this pepper Maybe a four out of five. I think I think it could be hotter. So yeah, uh, I've been your host Frank Jeff C, uh, yelling at you about Downtown's Revolution. Hmm. Make sure to like, comment, rate, subscribe to Hot Pepper Gaming, and then go in the description and check out my my YouTube and Twitter where I upload the hottest gaming news. Oh, also, uh, music.